it to the water. Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. stand up to us, then they all might stand up. Those puny little ants outnumber us a hundred to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. It's not about food. It's about keeping those ants in line. The Alex Jones Show. Because there is a war on for your mind. Don't forget, my friends, this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Where you find incredibly high quality storable foods. It's important to not be dependent on the system. We've got great customer service, last 25 years, super high quality. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find their specials. And they have a toll free number. 866-229-0927, 866-229-0927, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex, and did I mention it's non-GMO. And speaking of being prepared, ladies and gentlemen, the spring is coming during this very dark winter of our discontent and of tyranny, but physically uh, very cold as well. We have the giant InfoWars Seed Center with all the highest quality brands of non-GMO, uh, non-hybrid, open-pollinated seeds. The InfoWar Seed Center has the widest selection of the highest quality non-GMO seeds that produce more seeds, and then more seeds, and then more seeds, from all the best companies out there, including the Survival Seed Vault, put out by My Patriot Supply, I should add. And we have it at the lowest authorized price that we can buy it from these companies. If we sign deals, we can sell it at the lowest price available anywhere. Okay, and that's what we have there. And then you support the broadcast, but more importantly, you can commit now, buy it before spring gets here, and then have your spring, summer, and then late summer, fall garden. And they've got it from just the basic stables or right through to fruit trees, you name it, InfoWarsStore.com. Click on the InfoWars Seed Center. And I'm going to do something this year and even show video of it because this is something that was actually done in other. Johnny Appleseed did this in four different states and and it was a european tradition that the systems would try to not let the serfs produce enough food but they would then sneak into the king's land which was about 90 percent usually and would quietly plant fruit trees quietly plant vegetables and things separately because they could only use a tiny plot of what they had and then that was surveilled and taxed so people would plant in the rural areas and i'm going to go out with the film crew on some of the hike and bike trails and some of the highway areas up in the trees. And I'm going to plant fruit trees. I'm going to plant uh, pumpkin patches, depending on the you know topography. I'm going to plant tomato plants, pepper plants. And then I'm going to go harvest them gorilla gardening. Gorilla gardening. So it's something very exciting to do. Now is the time. They don't want you doing it, so you need to do it. Infowarsstore.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Or go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex and they got a good, uh, we, you know, we sell their brand, the stuff they put together. It's really good. Uh, so get it from them. I don't care. Just get the seeds, folks. Get them out to people. Now, we are going to get into an issue of the First Amendment and how far does the First Amendment go to protect what you say. There have been cases in the news like death of a president that came out in 2006 uh, that basically lionized a fictional character uh, for killing President Bush. 
and it is about the trial of the person that kills President George W. Bush. And they've had comedians that have come out and talked about killing George Bush and, and things like that. And as long as you're not seriously saying kill them, or you're not calling for others to kill them, I believe it's protected speech. And the Secret Service has operated as if it is. They do go out and assess to see if you seriously wanted harm to come to those people. Now, we have an article up on Infowars.com dealing with the Fox Brothers studios that are very talented, who've put out uh, now two seasons of Obama uh, doing battle with Conrad the Constitution. And I and Ron Paul and others have featured in some of their past episodes. Some have gotten millions of views, others just tens of thousands. But the point is, Obama assassination animated satire alerts Secret Service. So Secret Service responds to animation cartoon, basically, is what's happened. Paranoid national security state continues intimidation of dissenting media voices. The creators of the YouTube animated series, Conrad the Constitution, say they've been paid a visit by the Secret Service concerning their latest work. Well, family's been called by them. They say they're getting a visit entitled Obama Assassination. And clearly it is uh, satire. They contacted us, and so we got them on in the email and said, I just wanted to let you guys know the Secret Service has been in contact with my family and is coming to interview me soon about our latest episode. If I end up disappearing, you'll know why the email states and uh, that's from tim fox we've got tim fox via phone and jay fox uh his brother uh via or, or other way around we have um give me a printout let me know bring, bring me a printout and when you bring me one i'll know and then i'll go off that anyways what i was saying is we have them uh on the line with us and we're going to be uh getting them on the transmission with us uh coming up here in just a few minutes but first, I wanted to air and, and, and then give some commentary for radio listeners. The latest episode, uh, season two, episode eight of uh, Conrad, uh, the Constitution. And so here is uh, the newest thought crime. And, and remember, earlier I covered these articles. New York Times cartoons suggest climate change deniers should be stabbed to death. And, and, and Buzz Bissinger and Piers Morgan said I should be shot. And they agreed that they wanted to kill me. And now uh, they're calling for Krauthammer in a petition to be fired, Democrats are, because he questioned global warming um, in the Washington Post column. And the New York Times is also going along with that as well. So th this is where we're going in this country. Uh, so let's go ahead and play season two, episode eight of Conrad the Constitution. <laughs> some neat things in here. Now be careful, Conrad. There are some things you shouldn't touch in here. That's Ron Paul. Ooh, can I have this, Ron? Put that down, Conrad. Come on, Ron. Pretty please. It's an Conrad, RPG. put that down. I really need to come over more often. This is cool. Conrad, get the hell over here where I can keep my eyes on you. They're in an yeah, armory. Just, Ron Paul's armory. Conrad, get out of there. The year 2020. Where Everything's like Chicago. Baldy, where are we? Burning city. Drones everywhere. Oh no, Baldy, Drug where dealers are everywhere. Detroit? Wait a minute, this isn't Detroit. We're in the future, Baldy. And the drone picks oh, up he's the Constitution. God, That's the illegal. Is Give me all your money. Whoa! Guy with a knife. Picked the wrong person to mod, you punk. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, you're Defend in trouble himself. now, man. Yeah, they don't care about criminals. They don't care about guns. The criminal went that way, officers. He tried to mock me, but luckily I was carrying my gun. They taser the enemy who's carrying a Colt 911-45. Back down. Retrieve the contraband. Hey, now, what the hell do you think you're doing with my gun? Hey, you owe me a new handgun, buddy. Citizens can't have guns. You're coming with us. What the hell is going on? Haven't you heard of my Second Amendment? What's that? Oh, God, Baldy. Things sure went downhill in six years. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can take much more of this, Baldy. I need some fresh air. Conrad. Ron Paul's getting, getting 
getting me and uh, getting Alex Jones and uh, and the bald eagle. Now Ron Paul saves us. Hi, Ron. Who's driving? Ron Paul's got an M4. Uh, no, I'm not. Your future self is. My God, I look like hell. What happened? Obama shredded you, Conrad. I pieced you back together as best I could, but some amendments are gone forever. By that son of a bitch! Conrad's house is totally infested with trendies. Since you have a time machine, can't we fix all of this wrong? Yes, but it's not gonna be easy. Well, what is it? I'll do anything! You have to go back in time and assassinate Obama. Uh, excuse me? Assassinate Obama. Future Conrad is right. I don't see any other way. Won't I get in a lot of trouble for that? Stop being weak! <laughs> All right, Conrad. I'm sending you back to the night before Obama. By the way, I don't want Obama to Obama be assassinated. Obama will be attending a community theater production of Grease. That'll Here's actually turn him into a hero. We don't want that. I'm going to destroy him like Chris Morgan. And then later indict him for Fast and Furious and Benghazi. Hey, Chris, was I supposed to get the Colombian hookers tonight? Yeah, the Secret Service is busy getting the hookers, so they don't see Conrad going in with a musket. Here goes nothing, Baldy. <laughs> and again, it's, it's Lincoln ass. Six Semper Coronis! Six Semper Coronis! I guess that translates into fourth. This for all tyrants, I think. What did John Wilkes Booth say? <sighs> this for all tyrants, or something like that? <sighs> I did it, Ron. Yeah, that's always for Obama. tyrants. What the hell are you talking about, Conrad? You just had a dream. I traveled in your time machine to assassinate Obama. Time machine? I don't have a time machine. Well, see, it's okay because it's all a dream. Passed out from all these paint fumes. Conrad, get the hell over here where I can keep my eyes on you. <laughs> oh, so it was a dream. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't assassinate anyone without due process. See, exactly. Who would do a thing like that? Exactly. Uh, 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 you'll, uh, now, uh, 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 uh. All right, and we're joined by the thought criminals. I mean, clearly, it's a satire piece saying, you know, thus all tyrants go, basically. And pointing out that Obama is the one that kills people without due process with the drones, with the NDAA, including U.S. citizens. And so it's, it's really good dark satire, totally protected from every angle in my view. But I want to be clear, we're not calling for any harm to come to Obama. He's just a high-level puppet. Uh, but it is serious satire like this that will draw attention uh, to the hypocrisy. Now, joining us on Skype is Tim Fox and his brother Jay Fox on the phone. Tim, first off, your family's been contacted by the Secret Service. Have they uh, come after you as a thought criminal yet? Have they visited you yet? Yes, thanks. thank you for having me on, Alex. It's good to be on. And uh, yes, the Secret Service did visit me. So since we got your email last night, they've come. Tell us Tell us what happened. Yeah, they, uh, they first they came to my parents' home and uh, my dad gave me a call and said, hey, uh, the Secret Service is here to talk to you. And uh, at first, I was like, sure, Dad. I was pretty sure he was joking with me. But I thought you had like, some no. hookers. <laughs> like, no, they're really here, um, and they want to talk with you. Uh, and so I was like, oh, okay. And so the next, uh, that was on Friday night that they came there. And then uh, Saturday at 12, they came uh, to our apartment here in L.A. and uh, interviewed me. So, uh, do, do we have their illustrious names? I don't have the names uh, on me now. Well, that's okay. So, t t tell us what they said. They uh, first they they came to the door. They said, uh, "I think you probably know why we're here. Uh, are you one of the Fox brothers?" I was like, "Yes." So, like you're uh, with Conrad the Constitution. Like, yes, I I know why you're here. And she said, "Yeah, Secret Service uh, showed me her badge." And uh, they came in, they just wanted to talk, 